All right, so if you're looking for how to actually update your hard disk on a VMware Workstation 15 VM, and this is actually gonna show you some tips and tricks that you need to know. There's two major steps. There's also a couple steps we're gonna talk about is going to be uh, eye-opening and something that I actually had to research on the internet and will save you tremendous amounts of time. All right, so if you want to update, so let's just say this one is, uh, this one we're dealing with right here. And again, this is VMware Workstation. I can show you VMware Workstation. Uh, this is uh, build 15, so this is uh, VMware Workstation 15. So uh, you want to come in here to edit preference, edit your virtual machine settings. You want to come in here and go to hard disk. Now you will be allowed to expand the hard disk as much as you want, you can click this button, expand the hard disk, and then hit expand. I've already did this. I went from 140 gigs to 160 gigs. I will say that it takes roughly around, uh, probably around 30 minutes or 45 minutes per 10 gigs of increase. Now, so keep that in mind. So it did take about two hours for me to actually update uh, so I'm not going to do that right now. I wanted to save you guys some time, save you guys some actual um, effort in doing that. Now, let's just talk about if this is expand button is actually, uh, so that's this is step one, right? Increase this, let it run this process. It will, it will say it's successful as soon as it's done. Not a big deal. Now, in the case of if this button is grayed out, what do you do? I'm going to show you that. I'm going to, you just close this out real quick. You go to up here, manage snapshots, because when you research it, it's going to tell you to go to manage snapshot shots right here, right? And then there's nothing. You're going to be like, well, where's it at? It's up here on the very top. Make sure you're on the VM that you want to manage the snapshots for. And if you have any snapshots, it will automatically go in there. Let's go to this one. Let's see about snapshots. I don't have any snapshots on that one. I cleaned up both of these. So if if you have any snapshots, what you do is you would click on, and I'll actually show you. I'll actually come in here and let's make a snapshot. So let's come in here and go into the snapshot and let's take a new snapshot right now. All right, so let's come in here and actually let's take a snapshot right here. Let's call this, let's call this uh, backup and we'll call this four, uh, three, 03 2012 or 2020 2012 well, that's funny 2021 all right take snapshot all right so now we have a, a backup in here now I want to show you this right here if you come over here and you go to expand this will be grayed out that's what I was talking about now you see that right you see what I just did I'm actually making this happen for you so you can see it now I will highlight for you that when you come over here and you manage snapshots, you back this up right here, you can hit this delete button and it will delete. It takes about roughly how, depends on how big the actual VM is, maybe five to 10 minutes and not a big deal. It's not very intensive. Now, the portion of this where it says you are here, as long, you can delete all of your backups all you want to. All of your snapshots, you can delete all of them, okay? You can delete all of them as long as you, and you will still have a working progress right here. Okay, so no worries on that. Now I'm gonna show you the second half of what we're gonna do. I'm gonna crank this VM up and then we're gonna partition, we're gonna partition the actual drive to let it accept the actual extra 20 gigs that I just gave it. And this is gonna great, this is part two that's gonna save you a tremendous amount of time. Trust me, it'll save you a tremendous amount of time. So we're gonna crank this up. And I'm gonna let this crank up and then we'll come back. All right, so I have the VM open and you can see right here, the hard drive of the VM is actually, again, 136 free. So it's 140 gigs. I, I increased it to 160. However, it hasn't taken yet, okay? And it's not gonna take until I partition it. Now, um, now I want to show you this final step because it's really, really simple. It's really easy. So I want you to note that I have three gigs left on this actual hard drive right here, right? So now I'm going to come down here to the very bottom. I'm going to type in disk manage 
and then disk management, it, whatever it pops up, create and format hard disk. Okay, this is going to pop up. I want you to see while I do this, you see this right here? This is the, the current hard drive right here. It's healthy. It's at 139.5 gigs, right? Now the free space is 2%. Okay, that's nothing. All right, so you can see this over here as well. Just click right here, come over here, and what you're going to do is you're going to do new volume. Actually, we're not going to do new volume. We're going to format. Let's see, actions. We're going to go actions, task, properties. Let's see, I'm maybe missing the section right here that I am wanting to see right now. Properties, no. I believe it is new. Let's see. Sign, no, that's not it. So, I want to come over here and our partition is active. Extend, okay, so this is the portion we want to get at. Okay, so that's exactly what I was talking about. So this can get a little confusing, so I want you to note this. Right click and go to extend, and then come over here. It's going to say the free memory that's there. If you calculated 20 gigs, it would be that disk right there. Okay, so then you click next, and then you click next, and now we have a 160 gigs. So now, if I come over here and refresh this, I now have 23.2 gigs of free space. Now you see that that little that little spot right there. A lot of people may have known that right off the bat. But again, when it comes down to working with VMs and working with the virtual environment uh, and virtual workstation, you're responsible for your own computers. So you need to do this stuff properly. Now, now that we have this done, we have this adequately, I've updated this, I've, I have a new partition, everything's good. I'm gonna come in here and shut this down. Then I'm going to come back in here and delete this second section that I showed you before that I created. I'm going to show you how to delete it and how to ungray that expand box. Again, you, I showed you when I took a snapshot that it grayed it out. You can you delete all of these and it will easily show that. Now we're going to come back and do that right now. All right. So if you come up here and you see we're back on the same VM, we're gonna come in here. I'm gonna show you that it's grayed out. It's grayed out so I cannot expand it. It shows me, tells me right here that I need to expand. I need to remove my snapshots. Okay, very simple. Come over here, go to remove snapshots. See these two backups? We wanna come over here and delete both of them. Okay, so I deleted that one and I'm going to come over here and delete this one. Now you see when it makes a full backup and it does things adequately, you will see that it will actually take a, a little bit of time to delete it. Sometimes we're very quick, sometimes it's not. Let's come in here and now we go back, we go to our properties right there or we can click, click up here. And now we'll have the ability to expand the memory again. Just that simple. Okay, so I just wanted to make that really short, sweet and clear because again, when it comes down to it, that was that can be very, very time consuming when you're trying to troubleshoot that. So hopefully that was very helpful in showing you how to actually expand your VM in VM, VM Workstation uh, 15. So just like I said, this is VMware Workstation 15. Um, I believe the same process again continues on on 16. So it doesn't matter if uh, you're on 16 or even in the future in 17. So it, it will all virtually be the same. You need to allocate it on both sides. So hopefully that was helpful and we'll see you guys on the next one.